With temperatures averaging into the low 40s in mid-January, the McAllen Marathon Scott Crane Run is a runner's paradise. Christian Martinez from Mission won the McAllen Marathon Scott Crane Run with a personal best time of 2 hours, 48 minutes, and 24 seconds. It's a fast, uh, flat course, so it's, it's good for PRs. Um, I've been training with my coach Maria Castro for about like six months and uh, our goal was to do a sub 250 and we, we did it. Martinez led the pack of about 200 full marathoners who started the 26.2 mile journey across the city of McAllen. I didn't think I was going to be first but I knew I was going to get a sub 250 I just didn't know how how good of a time. 1900 runners participated in the full marathon half marathon, and the relay marathon. The McAllen Marathon Committee made improvements to the course. Martinez says the improvements really helped him reach his goal to qualify for the Boston Marathon. I like the, the new route, which is two loops. It helps you gauge where you're at, especially at the halfway point. And yeah, the weather was perfect. For 11 years, Steve Lee has called McAllen home, but it took running the half marathon to see parts of McAllen for the first time. We kind of got a taste of the city of McAllen. We got to see some of the neighborhoods. I, I thought it was nice that, you know, people in the community were able to come out and, and cheer us on. You know, we saw some of like, you know, the old McAllen as well as some of the new and a little bit of the downtown. And it was, it was a nice, uh, nice representation of the city, I thought. Organizers also added more to entertain the crowds and runners. There's now a VIP area for our VIPs and also anybody running the full marathon is going to be allowed into that area. It's going to be warmer, uh, we'll have food and stuff. And then we'll have the after party there in the Oval Park, uh, which will be a, a good time. Hundreds of McAllen Independent School District students from kinder to eighth grade are also part of the marathon event as they run the final mile of the kids marathon on the same day. The students kicked off the marathon in September and ran their miles throughout the fall at school and at home. City Commissioner Mayor Pro Tem Omar Quintanilla, who ran the half marathon, says the McAllen Marathon was successful because of the sponsors, volunteers, and spectators. This event is, is put on by a committee of individuals, uh, people from the city that uh, love to run, right, and like this event. I want to thank the sponsors, you know, for contributing to this event. We want to thank the people that helped to put this event on. Now this takes a, a much help, a lot of community support, our sponsors, and then, you know, community always coming out and supporting this, all these people, you know, active runners. And, you know, the 5K sold out, the 10K almost sold out. We got 200 marathoners running today and, and all those uh, relay teams. With the 2024 McAllen Marathon in the books, organizers say they have already started planning next year's event and are hoping even more runners join them in mid-January 2025 for a cool and fast McAllen Marathon Scott Crane Run. For the City of McAllen, I'm Roy Cantu.